Let me sit y'all right here. What's up, everybody? This is your friend, Jaleesa Matt Ray, official fan page. And I am coming to you live all the way from Ozark, Alabama. And I want to just express to y'all how um, disgusted I am at the news, what I just received. Um, I just want everybody to know in Dothan, Alabama, in the surrounding areas, Enterprise, um, Ozark, um, Abbeville, you follow Newton, wherever the Wiregrass area, the lines of Florida, everywhere, all over the world. I need y'all to share this video. I want everybody to share the video. That's within um the Dota area, surrounding areas. I want y'all to share this video because the word needs to get out. Um. I have, y'all know, I love my family deeply. Y'all know our family has been through a lot these past couple of months. And we know, everybody knows that my mom has custody of my nieces and my nephew because of the fact that um, DHR had to step in. They were going to take my nieces and nephews away from their mama because she made poor choices. Um, yeah, this is crazy. Like, this is so hard for me to talk about, but I have to talk about it because this has been going on for months, but I'm just now getting the gist of what's been happening because my family know how dedicated I am to them and how far I will go for my family. My nieces have been for the past couple of years. Let me tell, let me show y'all how this. Let me tell y'all how the conversation came up. The older sister was in there talking to my mama about what they talk about in school, about good touching and bad touching. Okay. So my mama said, yeah, it's called child molest. That's when child, children are being molested when they're touched by somebody. Um, by a parent or by a friend or anybody, any bad touching when they touch your private parts or anything like that. So mama and the, and the oldest daughter are in there having a conversation. And the baby walks in, the seven-year-old walks in and says, Grandma was molested. And my mama explains to her what molested is. It's when, you know... It's when an adult or an older child, somebody, just anybody, touch you in a way that you don't like. Any bad touching, touch your private parts, kiss you in the mouth, anything like that. And that baby looked at my mama in her eyes and said, I've been molested. At that point, my mom was like, molested? Molested by who? With tears in her eyes. The baby said... My daddy, that's who she calls her dad. She calls Marquel Williams her daddy. That's her mother's boyfriend. Um, he been with their mama for the last seven years. My mama said, what, what are you saying, baby? And then my niece goes into detail on how he makes the older sister go to bed. And then he takes her in her mama's room while her mama's at work. And... She t described to my like it hurt it it hurt for me to even talk about it y'all but she described to my mama how he hurt her front and her back how he make her put she called it his private parts how he make her put her pri his private parts in her mouth she said but when he try to pee in my mouth I take it out like this is a seven year old talking to my mama telling my mama how his breath smell after he smoked a cigarette how he kissed her in her mouth. How heavy he was on her. This is my seven-year-old niece. Describing to my mama 
how heavy a grown man so she said she still at this point calling him daddy how heavy daddy was on her how she could barely breathe and when she cried how he would tell her to be cry be quiet when she cried how he would cover her face with the pillows and how he would tell her if she told anybody what he would do to her what he would do to her mama this is my seven year old niece we're talking about Marquel Williams now. The live right there in Dothan. Everybody talking about, oh, Marquel, this Marquel, that. Raping my seven-year-old niece. And let me tell you something that's crazy. My 13-year-old niece, y'all know my 13-year-old niece. She's taller than me. She's bigger than me. She's like 200-something pounds. She's telling me, well, T.T., he didn't touch me. He didn't touch me. He didn't do this. He didn't do that. She said, because when mommy give me my night medicine, I go to sleep. I don't, I don't, I don't remember him touching me. I don't remember him saying nothing to me. But the counselor said, well, Lily, years ago, it was reported that you said that your daddy was rubbing on you. This is what's already down. My niece told me that she tries to forget things because she told her mama what her daddy was doing to her. And her mama told her not to tell nobody that it would break up the family. That's what her mama told her. Her mama, Kendra. Kendra Verdell. That's what Kendra Verdell told my niece. She was going to break up the family. Right now, they are looking for McQuell. In Dothan, Alabama. Marquel, granddaddy work at the food pantry. We got to look him in his face. Granddaddy, ain't, he ain't had nothing to do with it. But, you know what I'm saying? Like, people know where they at. That he wrecked my... He wrecked Kendra's car. And drove off. She has insurance on the car. But without a, a police report... You can't file the insurance. So the car is parked at his granddaddy's house. And then and then he been had the car since December, so it's four months behind. Like, this is not even besides the fact that he done ruined my nieces. My oldest niece telling us that he ain't touched her. He ain't did nothing to her. But you know with every DHR case, when it comes to um, children being molested, being touched on. They do the rape kit. My, both my nieces and they mama, all three of them have the same STD. So not only is he raping my babies, but he done gave them diseases. And he gave the same disease to the mama. But she don't believe that he done raped my nieces. Nobody can believe that he touched them. A seven, the only way a seven-year-old would know how heavy a man is, what he doing to the front and to the back, um, and then all these details, I can't even talk about the details because the fact that my baby explained it so detailed, we know she is not telling no lie. Seven years old. Seven. But nobody can find this man. So, I'm getting on my live tonight. Because I'm tired of it. I'm tired of the bull. I'm tired of all the hidden secrets. My children, my nieces have been going to, and my nephew, have been going to counseling for the past few months. And I didn't even know because my family know how I ride it. I can be sometimes. How, how I can overreact sometimes. Man, this man needs to be in jail. And if any of y'all females out here got this man in y'all house with y'all children, beware. He's not there for you. One thing after another. Like, how can you do that to a child? To not one child, to sisters. Like, God forbid if he touch my nephew. Y'all, people are sick out here. 
Y'all think I'm scared? No, I'm not scared to say his name. He need to be in jail. He need he need to be. I ain't even gonna say what he that what I feel. Cause y'all know I'm in the military. We shoot first, ask questions later. So don't ask me how I feel. Do not ask me how I feel. His name is Marquel Williams. He's on Facebook. He lives in Dothan, Alabama. Like, if if my life, if my life wasn't going nowhere, like if I was just gonna be a nothing person in the world, like I would go to jail for him. Like, I would do it. But I know God got greater for me. And I know God to be a healer. And I know that he can fix situations. But I definitely want him in jail. His name is Marquell Williams. I can do I can do you one better. He dark skinned, fat, little short, chubby dude. When I get out the when I get out this live, I'm gonna post pictures of him, his mama, his grandma, his granddaddy. Cause we've been trying to find him for months. Won't nobody say nothing. He won't turn himself in. So I'm telling everybody that's did that no Mark Will, all his family members that they say they don't have nothing to do with him. They say they ain't got nothing to do with it. My name is Jaleesa Matt Ray. And I know for a fact my nieces ain't lying. And if I have to tie the city down in Dothan, Alabama to get to Mark Will, I will. I want him found. I want him found. Can't nobody find him. And Dothan is not no big area. No. So if, if the police won't find him, the police won't look for him, I'm telling y'all, Facebook, Dothan, Alabama, Ozark Enterprise, if y'all see Marquell Williams, dark skin, he wear glasses. Little short fat dude, call the police and tell them where you are. Give them his location and turn him in. Because as long as he's out there, he is not, your children are not safe. As long as he's on these streets in Dothan, Alabama, your children are not safe. <coughs> <coughs> I'm going to post his name. I'm going to post his picture. I want him found. I want y'all to find him and turn him in. Cause can't nobody find can't nobody find him. I don't believe nobody's even looking for him. But I'm sick and tired of uh, don't don't post it on Facebook. Don't say nothing. I don't want it to start no issues. I don't want it to start no beef. No, this is not about me. This is not about beef. This is not about his family against my family. This is about what Marquell did to my nieces. This is about what Kendra let happen to my nieces. She don't want to take responsibility for what she did. She is going to take responsibility for what she did. Kendra, they told their mama. And she told them that it would break up the family. They told their mama. And she didn't do nothing about it. I hold her guilty. I hold her accountable too. I hold Kendra Verdell accountable for what she did. Or matter of fact, what she didn't do. Because there's so many females out there that would rather be laid up with a man and knowing that something just ain't right and would look past the fact that they don't want to be by themselves. Yes, I said it. Yes, I said it. And I'm not taking it back. I hold her accountable for what happened to my nieces. Those are her daughters. She's supposed to... She's supposed to t protect them. She's supposed to cover them. She's supposed to pray for them. My niece was seven years. My niece is seven years old right now. And we have no clue when it started. The doctor said the oldest daughter that had the disease for the last. Um, she can estimate the last two years. So we talking six, five, four, three. We don't know when he started molesting these girls. I want Marquell Williams found. I want him found. As many people on this Facebook, as many people that know Jaleesa Matt Ray, 
Y'all already know what it is. I have no filter. None. I don't regret what I just said. I don't regret what I just did. If Marquette is around your sister, your cousin, your niece, your nephew, your daughter, they are not safe. As long as he is out in Dothan, Alabama. And I feel sorry for the people that's in Because my nieces can't be the only ones. Can't be. Can't be the only ones. Because after this happened, after they snatched my, my nieces from their mama. They moved in with my mama, and he went on his way. He in Dothan. So, he he ain't working. So, he either with some other female shacking up, or he with his mama, and they ain't turned him in. Jenna said, I seen his picture, so he have a tattoo in the, in the center of his forehead. I don't know where he got in the middle of his forehead, but his name is Mark Will Williams. He dark skin, fat, low haircut. He wear glasses. I got pictures of him with they mama. What kind of diseases? Oh my God, this is sad. I'm in tears. I can I ain't even gonna put that business out like that. Like it's it's not about the disease. It's about that he gave it to all three of them, but that's still not enough proof for her to believe that he touched her kids. You can't get an STD from touching. You can't get an STD. Man, I'm about to get pissed off. It's like, I can't catch a break. Everybody asking me, why Why you not singing that BB King? Why you not singing that BB Kings? For one, I've been on the road for the past month. And then when I get home, I find out my sister passed. Like, I just can't. I can't be in two places at one time. Now, I find out. Both my nieces and my nephew been going to counseling for the last couple of months because they've been molested by somebody that they call daddy. Now, on top of that, my brother sick. My aunt got freaking throat cancer. I got a cousin that just passed. Like, I'm stressed out. And I want Marquell Williams found. I'm not taking my pain out on Marquell. I want Marquell to feel what he did to my niece. Every time, every tear that she shed, I want him to shed. Every time she cried and she felt like couldn't nobody hear her. Every time she had to hold a secret in. Every time she had to hold her breath. Every time he hurt her. Every time he touched her. Every time he kissed her. Every time, any anything that he did against them kids, I want done to him. For a grown man to touch a child, not only is it against the law, it's just sickening. Marquell Williams touched and molested and raped and sodomized my nieces. He did it. It ain't nothing I heard. It ain't nothing I got to wonder. Ain't no seven-year-old described no man body parts. How heavy it was, how it hurt her, how it made her sore, how it made her feel, how it smelled, how it felt. Like, seven? Marquell Williams is on the loose. He's not in jail. He has not turned himself in. And your children are not safe as long as he is out in these streets. It has gone on long enough. I, we tried to contact his mama. She won't respond. By all means, you feel like you want to stay out of it, stay out of it. I understand, Mom. But some things you just should not protect your children from. If my child, with my grown child, sodomized a little girl, I would turn him in. My niece telling me, I, I don't remember I don't remember. Mommy will give me my sleeping medicine. I don't remember. So you telling me y'all drugging my 13-year-old niece? Me and Marquel Williams are friends on Facebook. And I hope you're watching this video right now. Because you will get caught. And I'm going to be sitting right there. I'm going to be sitting right there when we go to court. Every court that you got, I got.
Marquell Williams is a monster. And he needs to be caught. Latrice, I'm not worried about no retaliation whatsoever. Marquell know me. He know why I stay. I'm not worried about that at all. Because I'm shooting through the door. I'm sick of the devil. I'm tired. I'm burnt out. I'm at the end of my rope. And I'm not holding no more secrets for nobody. I have nobody to protect. What he did to my nieces is unhuman. I'm going to post a picture when I get out this live. I'm going to post a picture and I want everybody to share it. Marquell Williams raped my 7-year-old niece and my 13-year-old niece and gave both of them STDs. Gave them the same STDs he gave to their mama. Marquell Williams, if y'all see Marquell Williams, call the police. You could tell him you don't want to be in. You can call him anonymous and give his location. Marquell Williams is a rapist. He is a child molester. And he needs to be in jail.